Hey everyone, now we're going to have a look at stepping on our rail the other way around. So instead of standing on it and the base of support being narrow in this plane, it's going to be narrow in this plane. So we're going to look at our footing and how we can stand. Because if I'm walking along the rail this way, obviously I can't stand with my feet hip with the part because the rail isn't that wide. Once again, we need to think about where our centre of mass is. So for this, our stance is going to be really narrow. Now, unusually, you should find it a little bit easier to stand on the rail in this plane on one leg because you can use your other leg as a flag, which we spoke about in the first video. If I step onto the rail, I've got my foot facing the direction I want to go. I can shift my weight over that base of support and stand up. If I take my other foot forwards, I find it's a little bit harder. I've got a really narrow base and I've got less of, less of my weight to flag. I can only use my arms. So by shifting my weight on the front foot, using my leg to flag, it enables me to manipulate my mass a little bit better to hold that balance. So by keeping one leg off, it gives me a much bigger piece of weight to use as a counterbalance. It gives me more control. The other thing to bear in mind here is keeping our feet facing the way we want to go. When I'm stepping onto the rail this way, my feet are facing roughly forwards, I can grip it with my toes. Now if I start stepping onto the rail in this plane, not like this, I'm probably going to go off that way. Our bodies are very good at following our feet. So if I start walking and I'm turning my feet off to the side, my body's going to follow. It also gives me a lot more of my foot, specifically the rubber on the bottom of my foot, in contact with the rail, which gives me more grip, gives me more friction. So as I step onto the rail, I've got my foot facing forwards, as much of my foot as possible in contact with this rail, shifting my weight over that base of support, using the other leg to flag. When we're walking along the rail, we're simply repeating this process. I'm putting my foot forward, shifting my weight over it, flagging, getting my balance, taking another step, shifting my weight, taking a step. We can then use the same technique to go backwards. Now this one, we want to keep looking forward, keeping our chest up. So I'm going to have to feel the rail with my toe, shift my weight back over it, flag again, get my balance. There we go. So the challenge today is can we take a couple of steps forward along the rail and then backwards without falling off? Again, slow control is key here. When you get competent, and when we have a look at doing other things with rails and rail precisions and rail strides, yes, we will be doing faster, more dynamic movements. For now, we just want to get our balance and keep our balance. Stepping onto the rail, shifting our weight over that base of support. Take a step, shift my weight forwards, regain my balance. Take a step again, get my balance. And there's nothing wrong with using your foot in any direction to flag, whatever you need to keep that balance. And stepping backwards, I'm going to feel the rail with my toe, shift my weight backwards. The whole time my foot is facing directly forwards so that I've got as much rubber as contact as possible, as, as much rubber as possible in contact with this rail. Shift backwards, here we go. So can we step onto the rail, take a few steps forwards and a few steps backwards? Have a go yourself, I'll see you soon.